Sludge management is of utmost importance in stream forming due to the potential harm caused by hydrogen sulfide present in it. Hydrogen sulfide is popularly called as silent killer. It should be maintained below 0.03 ppm to ensure the safety of the stream. If the hydrogen sulfide concentration exceeds this threshold, it becomes hazardous. In this video, I will explain the negative impacts of hydrogen sulfide on stream and how it is produced in ponds. Additionally, I will discuss strategies to maintain sludge and minimize the impact of hydrogen sulfide on stream. But before diving into the topic, here is a brief introduction about me. My name is Dr. Amir Nendra Vikumar, an aquatic animal health specialist and partner of Alpha Biologicals, an ISO 9001-2005 and GMP certified company specializing in manufacturing aquatic health products. With this brief introduction, let us dive into the topic. Prolonged exposure of the shrimps to hydrogen sulfide can lead to less feeding, especially in the morning, as the dissolved oxygen and pH will be low. Hydrogen sulfide is more toxic at low pH. When present in water, H2S readily reacts with carbon dioxide molecules to form sulfuric acid, reducing the pH. At low pH levels, hydrogen sulfide becomes more toxic. It facilitates the release of phosphates into the water, promoting algae bloom. It also causes destruction of nitrifying bacteria, leading to an increase in ammonia and nitrate levels in the water, causing stress to the shrimp. It blocks uptake of oxygen, and prolonged exposure leads to black gill, which interferes with the shrimp's respiratory functions, causing hypoxia. Blackening of the mouth parts and shrimp legs due to the direct contact with the sludge resulting in burnt-like appearance. Harvested shrimp suffering from these conditions may fetch lower price in the market. Hydrogen sulfide can cause tissue corrosiveness, irritating the soft tissues in the gills, gut, stomach walls, and hepatopancreas. This can lead to loss of appetite and shrimp may lose their chemosensing abilities resorting to sludge ingestion. There are reports of loose shell formation due to prolonged exposure of hydrogen sulfide. Following molting, this is very important. Following molting where shrimps may stay at the pond bottom after molting and if hydrogen sulfide levels are high, they may die. Why hydrogen sulfide is more toxic? To appreciate this unique properties of hydrogen sulfide, perform the following steps. Touch the sludge with your hand and smell it. Note the distinct odor similar to rotten eggs. Wash your hands with clean water. After half an hour, smell your hands again. You will likely to perceive the same smell indicating that hydrogen sulfide can easily penetrate tissues, making it much more harmful than ammonia and nitrite. Hydrogen sulfide has high degree of lipid solubility, enabling to pass easily through the membranes where it can interfere with cell functions. In shrimp, hydrogen sulfide interferes with cytochrome reoxidation during respiration, making it toxic to aquatic organisms. Then how it is produced in our ponds? The main reason for its increase is the poor water color or plankton crash at the start of the culture, which allows sunlight to penetrate to the pond bottom, leading to the development of benthic algae, commonly referred as lap lap. As the benthic algae die off, it can accumulate in the corners of the pond. During decomposition of lab lab, hydrogen sulfide is produced, posing a significant risk to the shrimp population. During culture, hydrogen sulfide is produced from leftover feed, shrimp fecal matter, and dead plankton during anaerobic decomposition. The circular motion created by aerators tend to cause a sludge accumulation in the middle of the pond. If you enter the pond, you can notice the bubbles coming out from the bottom, and you will also be able to smell the water associated with it. To manage sludge in the shrimp pond, it is essential to pump it out regularly either through a central line or using sludge motor. If it is not possible, farmers can opt for good soil probiotics like sulfox as a preventive treatment, which should be applied regularly at least once a week to control hydrogen sulfide levels. In severe cases leading to shrimp mortality, a combination of sulfox and a sediment oxidizer called Aquachem has shown positive results. Sulfox is meticulously manufactured at our state-of-the-art fermentation unit by highly skilled aquatic microbiology professionals. It comprises three distinct bacterial species, 
known for their exceptional adaptability. Thiobacillus denitrificans, Paracoccus pandotrophus, and Rhodococcus ruber. These bacteria exhibit remarkable capabilities to thrive across diverse salinity, pH, and oxygen conditions. As a result of its remarkably versatile triple action formula, Sulfox has garnered significant popularity within Indian aquaculture industry. In addition to using Sulfox, increasing aeration and by applying lime to raise the pH of the water can further help to manage hydrogen sulfide toxicity. Strict feeding also helps a lot. That's all for today's video on sludge management and uh, reducing hydrogen sulfide impact on stream farming. I hope you found it informative and useful. If you have any questions or would like to know more, feel free to reach us at raviaqua.gmail.com or WhatsApp me on 9848666776. All the best.